Hello there. This video, we are going to talk about WD MyBook external hard drive, the printed circuit board repair, and the disk data recovery. We are also going to talk about the data encryption feature of this external hard drive, because this is a must to know when you do data recovery from the hard drive. Part 1. Printed Circuit Board Repair Three methods to fix a hard drive PCB board. 1. Clean the contacts. 2. Repair the PCB board. 3. Swap the PCB board. Method 1. Clean the contacts. Clean the contacts on the PCB board and also on the hard drive can fix the problem caused by the poor connection between the PCB board and the hard drive. Fixing hard drive PCB board method 3. PCB board swap. PCB board swapping including two steps. 1. Find the correct donor PCB board. 2. PCB board firmware transfer. PCB board swap step 1. Find out the correct donor PCB board. Locate the hard drive model number on the front of the hard drive label. Locate the hard drive PCB board number. Different brand name, different PCB board. The PCB board numbers are different. You may go to hdd-parts.com to check out other brand name PCB board numbers. After find out the hard drive model number and the hard drive PCB board number, we use them as a reference to search for the correct donor board. We found the correct donor PCB board for the hard drive, but this is only the first step. The next step is we have to do the PCB board format transfer to make the donor board work on the original hard drive. PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. What is the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer and why? 1. One hard drive printed circuit board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. Hardware means the components and the printed circuit board. Firmware, also called BIOS, are the data inside of the chip. 2. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then, the donor board can work on the original hard drive. We call this as hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. Three things regarding the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. 1. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrading. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is to transfer the printed circuit board firmware from one board to another board. 2. Hard drive firmware upgrading is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It has nothing to do with another hard drive or another printed circuit board. 3. We can do the printed circuit board firmware transfer from the physically damaged printed circuit board, like burned, watered, or even other kinds of damages. Our 
printed circuit board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. We do the printed circuit board firmware transfer for our clients for free. What will happen if we do not do the printed circuit board firmware transfer? For this model hard drive, if we put the donor board onto the hard drive without doing the printed circuit board firmware transfer, the hard drive will spin, but the computer cannot detect the hard drive. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board BIOS, and uh, the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip like the first picture shows. Some PCB boards BIOS are integrated into the main IC like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. If you have any questions such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the bias transfer, where is the bias of your PCB board? how to swap your PCB board. Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. This picture shows how can we help you to find the donor PCB board for your hard drive. 1. Use your cell phone to take pictures of your hard drive and its PCB board. 2. Email the pictures to hddparts at gmail.com. 3. You will receive the donor PCB board information within 24 hours. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First. The clients sent in their PCB board. 2. We fix the PCB board. 3. We ship back the PCB board to the clients. This picture shows the basic components on the PCB board. The most vulnerable parts on the PCB board is power supply circuit, motor IC. This picture shows some regular components on the printed circuit board. Motor contacts lose problem. Symptom. The motor can spin, but cannot reach its full speed. Cause. Lose motor contacts. Solution. Resolder replace the loose contacts or replace the PCB. Here is the sound from the Lose motor contacts problem hard drive. Motor contacts lose problem. Symptom 
the motor can spin but cannot reach its full speed. Cause loose motor contacts. Solution Resolder replace the loose contacts or replace the PCB. Motor IC problem Symptom The motor IC is overheat or the hard drive does not spin. Possible reason The motor IC is bad. Solution Replace the motor IC. Note Replacing the motor IC only can fix the bad motor IC problem. If the hard drive PCB other part got problem or the hard drive itself got problem, replacing the motor IC will not help. How to fix a hard drive motor IC problem? 1. The bad motor IC problem symptom the hard drive does not spin. There are many reasons to cause a hard drive to stop spinning. The bad motor IC is one of them. The bad motor IC may or may not have the burned mark on it. 2. Remove the bad motor IC. 3. Replace the bad motor IC with the new one. Overheat is a common problem of hard drive PCB boards. Solutions 1. Cool down the hard drive by fan or other cooling devices. 2. Replace or fix the PCB board. This picture shows the two main contributors to the overheat. This picture shows how to use a fan to cool down the hard drive. This picture shows how to cool down the overheat chips which are under the PCB board. How do we cool down the heat contributor IC from the outside? Step 1. Heat transfer pad preparation. Peel off the protection sheet from both sides of the heat transfer pad like the picture 1 shows. Step 2. Prepare a heat sink, like the picture 2 shows. Step 3. Put the heat transfer pad onto the heat sink, like the picture 3 shows. Step 4. Put the heat sink to the heat contributor IC area on the PCB, like the picture 4 shows. Part 2. Disk Data Recovery WD MyBook External Hard Drive Encryption We received many questions regarding WD MyBook External Hard Drive Repairing and Data Recovery. One of the very common questions is, can we access the WD MyBook hard drive data through the SATA port directly, not through the SATA to USB bridge? The answer is no. Why? Because the WD MyBook hard drive data is encrypted by its SATA to USB bridge. In other words, the WD MyBook external hard drive SATA to USB bridge is not only a bridge, but also an encryption card. So, you cannot take the hard drive directly from the case and then hook the computer without the original SATA to USB bridge. The computer cannot read the data because the data is encrypted. And also, that is why sometimes people think they already successfully repaired the hard drive and then they hook the successfully repaired hard drive to the computer directly and the data is not available. That is why. Just because the SATA to USB bridge is also an encryption card, the data is encrypted, so the computer cannot read it. 
There are some simple ways to recover data from a hard drive. One of them is try to read the hard drive by different devices, like different external hard drive adapters, computers, or enclosures. Because different devices use different ways to read a hard drive, sometimes this trick works. Another way is swapping the hardware PCB board. Swapping the hardware PCB board can fix the problem caused by the PCB board. There is a cost in swapping the PCB board, but it is way cheaper than sending the hard drive to a data recovery firm. Disk firmware corruption. Symptom. The hard drive spins fine, but the computer cannot see the hard drive, and even the software-based data recovery tools cannot see the hard drive as well. Possible reason. Disk firmware corruption. Recommendation. Try disk firmware repair tools like PC3000 or others. The following is the sound from one of the hard drive which experienced disk firmware corruption. It sounds like a good hard drive, but the computer cannot detect hard drive. Disk assembly physical damage problem. Symptom The hard drive makes clicking, buzz, or other weird sound. The hard drive is not accessible by any computer. Possible reason Disk assembly physically damaged. Recommendation Try class 100 clean room disk assembly repairing. Do not open the hard drive in any open area, like home or office. The following is the sound from one of the hard drive which experienced disk assembly physical damage. <laughs> Common disk assembly problems. The hard drive disk assembly could be damaged by shocking, overheat, power surge, and many other reasons. The common symptoms of disk assembly problems are 1. The hard drive makes clicking, buzzy, or any other weird sound. 2. The hard drive does not spin. 3. The hard drive spins, but not detectable. 4. The hard drive is detectable, but with wrong size and not accessible. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients.